Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna teach you how to integrate Power BI reports into PowerPoint presentations. But before you get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. So now guys, let's do this. So we're gonna go over three different steps here. The first one, if you don't have the Power BI add-in feature in PowerPoint, so we're gonna add this feature. The second point, we're gonna copy the Power BI report URL into PowerPoint. And finally, we're gonna explore additional features within PowerPoint. So let's get started with the first point. Like it says right here, if you don't have the Power BI add-in, you have to add it. So let's go about insert here and then check this out, my add-ins. I already added this feature right here. That's why you can see it. But if you don't have it, you have to go over here, get add-ins, click right there and then type Power BI. Look for this and then you have two options you want to insert the second one, Microsoft Power BI. Enhance storytelling with data by easily including Power BI reports into your presentation. So add this option right there and then you are good to go. So I'm going to close this because I already have it. It's right here. And then the next step here is to copy the Power BI report URL into PowerPoint. So let's go over here, the next slide. And then here, let's go over insert again and then hit Microsoft Power BI. So this new window pops up and then you have to provide your credentials here, your Power BI service credentials. And then you are ready to paste a URL from Power BI. So let's go over Power BI service real quick. So let's go over here. And as you can see, I have two different reports. I have this report right here, the internet sales report. And also I have another report here called the power of bookmarks. So these reports are already in the cloud in Power BI service. And now our goal is to insert these reports into PowerPoint. There are two options here. The first one is to go over export here and then PowerPoint, and then you can hit embed live data. So let's do that. This new window pops up and here you have two options. You can just copy the link or you can open in PowerPoint. Copy the link, let's do that first. You can copy the link here. Let's go over here, back to the presentation, paste it here, and then this insert button is active now. So hit this option and let's see what happens. So it's loading, it's thinking. It's gonna take a few seconds here, boom. So now you have here your live report. This is inside of PowerPoint. So that was the first option. The second option, if you go back to Power BI service, check this out. You can open also in PowerPoint. So let's do that real quick, open in PowerPoint. And then you will see that there is new file, new PowerPoint file is opening. And then you will see automatically the Power BI report is getting populated. And then boom, you have the Power BI report right there. Then there is also another page here that you can just, this is just as a reference. If you need some help, there are more details here. If we go back over here, you can start editing this. You can say, well, this is actually my, my first Power BI report. There you go. And then you can start playing with this visual as well because this is live. So there you have it. Now let's go back to the previous presentation. So this is the one that we had at the beginning. And then if you go back to the previous slide, so we already have the Power BI report URL. It's already there in PowerPoint. So the next step here is to explore additional features. So let's do that. Once we are here, this is like a live report, right? So we can make any live changes here. Let's say that we do care about the first six months. So we can just select the six months and then boom. So the data is changing automatically, right? You can apply any filter if you want here. Another cool thing is if you wanna go back to the Power BI report and Power BI service, you can do that as well. Just hit this option right here. It's gonna take you to the Power BI service. Another cool feature here is, as you can see, 
that are some statistics here or data options. Let's get this option here. And then if you hit data insights, so you will get some automatic insights here about this data. So you can paste it here on the slide, or you can just copy this into a new page. Let's do that. The second option, copy here, let's go over here and paste it here. And then you can start editing this option as well. So this is very helpful as well. It helps you understand what is going on with your data. If you go back to the slide here again, let's keep exploring. You can also refresh your data. It's going to be refreshing here. So the point here is you can update your data live. Another cool feature here, if you go over here, again, you can press reset. So it resets to the initial view, like it says right here, right? Restore the original item view. So you can do that as well. Check this out. Reset. So with this option, so you are basically resetting any filter after you imported this visual into PowerPoint. Another option here is if you go over here, style options. You can also add an outline. And this is actually part of the new Power BI update, the April 2023 Power BI update. So we didn't have this feature before. This is a cool one. Now you can see the outline for this visual. So go over here and then you can also change the color or you can do any changes here. Let's say that we care about black and then probably three or four just for the example. Now you can see the changes right there. So it's more visually attractive. And then let's go over the next feature here. You can also clear the data. Let's say that you want to add a different visual, a different report. You can do that as well. Check this out. Clear data, clear here. And now we are ready to place a new link. So let's go back to Power BI service. There is a new report here. So here I'm going to teach you actually a different way to copy the URL. So let's go over share here. And then as you can see, there is a new feature here called PowerPoint. Let's hit this option and then you can copy the link. Let's go back to the presentation and then paste it here. Check this out. Let's hit insert. So the data is right there, a different report, right? And then you can start playing with the data as well. Whatever you want to do here, you can keep playing based on what you need. And then finally, there is a new feature here, right here. You can see the, the show and hide page option. Now you can also delete the visual. You can do that. Just hit delete. Boom. No more visual. Another cool thing that I wanted to share with you is that you can actually have or you can show this visual as a picture. So let's do that. Check this out. Show as saved image. So once you do that, you cannot interact with this Power BI report anymore because this is just a picture. See, so you cannot do anything here. Nothing, 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 because this is actually a picture. So if you want to change this status, you can do that as well. Let's go back over here and then uncheck show as saved image. Once you do that, so it's taking you back to the Power BI report with all the functionalities that we had. There it is. So this is an awesome integration between Power BI and PowerPoint. There you have it, my friends. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. If you wanna keep sharpening your Power BI skills, also check these tutorials out. All right, see you guys next time.